must have cleaning business equipment and tools. Hi, I'm Steve Hansen, co-founder of the GinaToroStore.com and MyHouseCleaningBiz.com. Well, you know, whenever we're going to start a, uh, a cleaning service, we have to have the right equipment and tools. So, first of all, let me say that uh, on both uh, GinaToroStore.com and MyHouseCleaningBiz.com, you'll find a complete list of the tools and equipment that you that you need to start a cleaning business. I'm just going to go over, uh, you know, uh, probably about uh, uh, eight or ten items that are must-have. So to begin with, we always have to have a we have to have a cleaning caddy. So here's a cleaning caddy that fits onto a brute. Uh, it fits on the outer rim of it. So this area here actually sits inside the brute. But you'll have your spray bottles in here. You'll have your you know your brushes and and uh, other types of tools in here. Uh, it works pretty good because now you're able to go ahead and uh, go through a facility, dump the trash, do all your dusting, clean restrooms and things like that there as you as you make your route. So that's one choice. Uh, this we use this quite a bit. Another choice is uh, this here. Now this here is a husky. I've had this for a while. Uh, it's uh, very durable. Uh, again, you know this here has eight pockets on it plus the, the inside pocket. Uh, you know, you're able to carry your spray bottles, your, your cloths, uh, different tools. You know, I've got a grout brush in here. So, you know, uh, either one of these would be fine. Uh, it's all about personal preference. But uh, you definitely have to have a caddy. you got to have something that's going to carry all your supplies for you. So, those are a couple of choices that, uh, of must-haves. Uh, something else that you should have is that you should have a tote. Uh, you know, I like using these plastic totes because I'm able to put uh, a number of uh, microfiber cloths, uh, chemicals, uh, extra spray bottles, uh, and scrub pads, different things like that there in the, in the tote. Now, the reason that you, d you do that is because if you're going to go in to clean a facility or a home, uh, typically for smaller facilities, let's say it's only a, a couple thousand square feet, uh, you typically are going to be doing a route in which you're going to be cleaning, uh, you know, three or four or five of these small offices. So uh, the person, the cleaning uh, cleaner that's doing that is that you want to set them up with a tote so they have extra supplies. You don't want them running out of supplies midway through the mid through way through their route. And the same thing is true for residential. So you know when you're in there cleaning a, a residential home, you may use the, the husky tote there, but uh, you know, then you'll also have your cleaning apron on, and as they're going through cleaning, you don't want them to run out of supplies. You know, they can always go back to their main tote uh, and fill up and stock up again. So, that's a must-have. Uh, other thing that you got is a must-have: microfiber cloths. You got to have these. Um, you know, some people prefer them, some people don't. You know, again, it all falls back to personal preference. But I'll tell you what, we've used microfibers for many, many years, uh, 20 some odd years, 25 years or better. Um, uh, and they just do a great job of cleaning. You know, it's because of the weave and so on and so forth, but they just do a great job. They do better in paper, they do better than uh, uh, other cloth, uh, uh, cloth uh, type of uh, uh, wipes and things. So you got to have them. Um, something else that you should have is uh, some uh, mop pads. Uh, that's what this here is. This is a microfiber flat mop pad. Uh, you got to have these two. And so when you're uh, selecting your mops and buckets, uh, you should have a uh, flat mop, a microfiber flat mop. It could be a, it could be a, a um, you know, just your standard flat mop, or it could uh, be a bucketless mop. Uh, that's where the the actual bucket is in the handle. You fill that with solution. And that's how you'd mop. Uh, but you got to have a flat mop because if you're doing any wood floors, you got to be able to control the water. Uh, there's other types of hard floors too that you have to control the water because if you don't, you're going to leave you're going to leave a bunch of spots on the floor and or streaks. So you definitely got to have uh, microfiber flat pad, flat mops and pads. And you also are probably going to have your conventional mops and buckets. You know, when you're, whenever you're uh, mopping large floors, that's when you just want to switch over to a, uh, your conventional mop and bucket. You know, it could be just a spin mop. It could be a, a you know, a fantail mop uh, with a double reservoir bucket, you know. But uh, whatever you choose, uh, you, that's a must-have. 
the other thing that you want to think about is that you, you must have a brute. Uh, when you're doing commercial cleaning, having the brute, like I talked about with that, with that uh, caddy, uh, the caddy can sit inside the brute. Well, if you have the brute in the entire setup and then plus you put an apron on it, uh, you can carry all the supplies that you need to make your route throughout the building. You never have to go back to that janitor's closet, meaning that you're making multiple trips back and forth. You want to eliminate that because you remember the most efficient cleaners, they win, hands down. So always remember that. Something else that I think that is a must have is extension poles. You know, extension poles, they come in various lengths. Um, you know, this one here, he goes out to four foot, but you know, I've got some that will go out 40 feet and uh, they're very handy because if you're cleaning a commercial space and uh, you've got high ceilings uh, and you need to get up there and get those dusted, well, you can attach dusters to these and extend them out and go up there and get the dusting that you need. Um, and other, in other cases, if you're doing residential, the same thing is, you know, you always come across a home that has a, uh, a ceiling fan up up high on the ceiling. Well, now you can put attachments on here, go up and, and go actually uh, dust it from the ground, which is much safer than getting up on a ladder. So extension poles are a must have. Something else you want to think about is uh, a must have is the vacuums. Um, again, now this is getting down to personal preference. Uh, you often see this on uh, Facebook uh, groups that uh, people are debating on which the best vacuum is and yada yada yada. Well, that, that debate is going to go down in history uh, because it all ends up being personal preference. One person may like an upright, the other person will like a backpack, somebody else will like a canister, and so on and so forth. You know, somebody else might like a hip vac. Uh, that's all fine, you know, whatever works for you. And that's really all, all that matters. But it's a must have. You have to have a vacuum of some sort. So, Something else you have, you must have, is dusters. You got to have dusters. Um, here I got a, a little handheld duster, you know, for cleaning small areas. You may also have other microfiber dusters that are long, skinny tubes, to where you can do big, flat areas. Uh, so, but they're a must have. You you got to have them. And you may even have a uh, uh, a static duster to where you can use those for for doing your uh, your, your blinds and things like that. So. But it's a must-have. Something else that you that I mentioned earlier is a must-have is a cleaning apron. If you're cleaning homes and commercial, uh, it's a good idea to have a cleaning apron. Uh, the cleaning apron will have multiple pockets. The ones that we have, I think they have seven pockets on them, uh, so you can carry your carry your supplies. You can carry your spray bottles and everything. Uh, you know, we made them ourselves. We didn't buy them, uh, so they're customized for 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 our use. But uh, they're just fantastic. Uh, again, you know, it makes you much more efficient when you're cleaning a, cleaning a home or cleaning a, an office space or a facility, uh, rather than you going back and forth to to your to your brute or and uh, the janitor's closet. You got all your tools with you, so it just makes you a much more efficient cleaner. So cleaning aprons are a must-have. Another must-have is uh, scrapers. Uh, scrapers come in; they're so handy. Now there's going to be times when you should use a plastic scraper and you should use a razor, a razor scraper. So you should have both. Um, you know, uh, there's some surfaces that you probably want to go after with a plastic scraper rather than using a razor and vice versa. So, and it's a matter of making that selection. Uh, in most cases, you may find out that a scraper is always best used with a wet surface. So you might just spray some glass cleaner on a surface and, and then use your scraper. Uh, but Anyway, it's a must-have, so you, you want to have a couple of scrapers. The scrapers uh, will come with various lengths. They could be one inch, they could be three inches, you know, but it's a must-have. Now, another must-have that, that we, we need is PPE, uh, personal protective equipment. Personal protective equipment is very important. You know, we have to have uh, goggles, we have to have safety glasses, we have to have gloves, you know. Uh, we got to have these things uh, whenever we're working with chemicals. Whenever you're taking a spray bottle and spraying it uh, to your cloth, you should have safety goggles on. Uh, you have to you have to protect yourself for the chance that it may accidentally spray you in the eye. So we got to have them. Uh, you should have gloves on because you don't want to be spraying uh, chemical onto your your hands. Uh, it could uh, you could get a rash. You know, they could they could dry out. Uh, just a number of different things. 
Uh, besides that, if you got a cut on your hand or something like that, you got to protect that by covering them up with gloves. So always a must-have is PPE, personal protective equipment. And uh, I probably touched a little bit on uh, another must-have is brushes. So, you know, you may have some brushes that, like this here is a grout brush. Uh, this other one here is a small uh, toothbrush. Now you can use these all for, for detail work for around, um, around faucets, uh, tight areas, mounting hinges, different things. But they, they work fantastic for that. Um, so this here is a must have, you know, so you may have a, a grout brush, a toothbrush, and then you may have a, a deck brush. Uh, if you're cleaning residential, you may find out that they may have ceramic tile in some areas of the home. Well, typically it's just small areas, you know, maybe in some restrooms or some areas, but they're typically small areas. So you could actually just use a deck brush to go ahead and clean that area, you know, when you're doing a deep clean. But that I, I uh, that is a it's a must have. So there you have it. Uh, that's the list that I have. And like I say, uh, if you go to the janitorialstore.com or my house cleaning biz, you will find a complete list of the tools, uh, tools and equipment that you must have to start a cleaning company. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, go ahead and click on the like and share button. And as usual, uh, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, uh, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Uh, you'll find hundreds of uh, videos on how to build a successful cleaning business. So until next time, we'll see you.